Just a year ago, Marist freshman KJ Lee was playing high school ball, yet now he's been called upon to lead the Red Foxes and has responded admirably, already garnering attention and averaging first in the MAC in minutes played. I caught up with KJ to get his take on the season. You've appeared in nine games so far. You've started eight of those games. Just talk about the competitiveness out on the court. Well, the college game, like there's no time to hesitate out there. You just have to go and play. You can't think because when you think, like your, your time is up. So you don't have any time to think. You just have to go out there and play. He has awareness on the court. He knows uh, what to do and when to do it. And um, that's hard to coach, right? So he has a good feel for the game, right? He, without uh, worrying about an offensive system, defensive system. He's, especially when the ball's in his hands. When the ball's in his hands, he knows who to deliver it to and when to deliver it. We play pickup a lot during the summertime, so those guys know what we could all do. So Siobhan is constantly in my ear, TJ is constantly in my ear, telling me to just go out there and be aggressive and play my game. You know, as a player on the court, you kind of have to find your own voice and, and develop your sense of identity on the court. So how do you help him kind of give him the confidence to find his own identity out there? I, I try to talk to him as if I understand and I, I've been in his position before so, he, so we can relate in that way. And just talking and just being confident, it, it stands out to coaches. They're going to start thinking to themselves, hey, why is he doing that? Why is he, wow, he got that swagger to him. He, he has that confidence about him. And that's going to open a lot of doors for him because then coaches in last minute situations, coaches, oh, KJ, because that's the first thought he has because of his demeanor on the court. I was just thrusted into the starting role. So um, that's a great opportunity for me. They've really been helping me, telling me to stay calm out there, just play my game, not to do too much thinking, stuff like that. So with them behind me, I think I've done pretty well so far. I mean, how much more can you go through, right? You lose your starting backcourt. Mac rookie of the year in Khalid. He'll push it ahead off the bounce to Hart, and he missed the driving layup. And he comes up lame now. Hart is hobbling to the sideline. You know, senior uh, tri-captain and TJ that's, you know, probably our best decision maker and three-point shooter. And then Siobhan goes down. Defender's trying to hold him up. He's cruising inside now. Goes down heavily. What a start it has been to the season for Baker and his coaching staff. And as you said, the collective breath here in the McCann Arena is being held. Uh, now, KJ is a big part of that individually, but I think he's responded very, very well to a very difficult situation. I mean, we're starting a true freshman backcourt. Griffin will dip it to the corner for the jumper. Good by KJ Lee. His first career three-point attempt, and he hits it. When would you say that everything kind of clicked for you? You know, because kind of just getting thrown into the college game and playing as many minutes as you've been playing, you know, not every player would respond as well as you have. I think I've been playing steady so far. I don't think it actually clicked yet. When it clicks, I think you'll know. I'm not satisfied at all. Uh, I, I know I could play way better than I've been playing. I've been playing steady. I'm just going out there playing as hard as I can every day, um, constantly trying to prove myself in practice, trying to gain coaches' trust. Well, I think, um, you know, for him to take a jump in his game, he's going to need to become a better uh, three-point shooter and a better free throw shooter uh, and better off the ball. I think on the ball, with the ball in his hands, he's very good uh, making decisions and he's good guarding the basketball on the ball. It's off the ball where he needs to make improvements to his game to take a major step. But I'm encouraged because he's, uh, you know, he's, he's a low-maintenance guy, right? He loves the game, he's tough, he's intelligent, and he's a willing uh, listener. Right, in, in order, uh, he's just got to put the work in, right, uh, for that uh, perimeter jump shot and the free throws, and I know we will.